Welcome at Johnny's desk. Today I want to show you what I've been working on since the last video. Thank you goes to Leon from Tesla and Mehr for sending me over this secondary coil. I printed a primary coil to slide over and a little torus with aluminium tape. This is version 1 of my all-in-one solid-state Tesla coil. Let's have a look in detail. We have a charger, we have an interrupter, a microcontroller to control everything and we have a half bridge and a big capacitor. Let's start with the Tesla coil driver. Here we have secondary feedback from the CT, current transformer. This goes to the inverter which drives the gate drive IC and this drives the gate drive transformer. The gate drive transformer leads are connected here and here and one pair of these should be inverted to drive the gates of the IGBTs. Here we have the charger, but I won't go in detail here because you can watch a video about it on my channel. So have a look. We can control the frequency of this IC with the microcontroller or with an external RT and resistor. This is a feedback loop. I screwed the capacitor to charge faster and I had to change some values here and there. I can't measure the voltage over at the microcontroller because I had to screw these components. It didn't work. And this is a cheap high voltage transformer from AliExpress. Here I rewound the transformer to get a ratio of 1 to 10 from primary to secondary. We have a little bonus. Our microcontroller can control the gate drive directly without the feedback. So we can use the whole PCB for something different. For gathering components I went to Conrad and got this whole bag for 2 euros. And another one. that we've discussed the setup, let's test it. The problem with this setup is that I get arcs from here to here, to the primary coil, and that's not good. So I have to replace the primary coil with a flat one. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time at Johnny's desk. Bye!